Welcome to CS165 Database Systems. I am Joy. I will be your instructor for this course. I am actually a returning faculty in the Department of Computer Science and I am a member of the Algorithms and Complexity Lab. My research area is on algorithm design. Uh, so, nagturo na rin ako ng CS32 and uh, before it was uh, CS135 uh, for the data structure and the algorithm design course. So, my research area is actually on combinatorial um, approaches in solving hard problems. But uh, my main motivation for uh, for teaching CS165 is for me to have a holistic view of the parang challenges in computing, both in the context of um, compute-intensive problems and data-intensive problems. So for the database systems, yun yung uh, hope ko na malearn ko din for, for this course. I will share with you the main resource uh, material that we will use in this course. So, uh, we will use the 7th edition uh, Database System Concepts by uh, Silberschatz, Korth, and Sudarshan. So, the lecture slides that I will be using will also um, uh, come from um, Silberschatz, but I will be um, inserting some of my figures and illustrations uh, para mas ma-explain ko yung concept in a more uh, Ano ba? A more personal way. Um, what else? So, uh, from the slides, um, sumuro makikita nyo din in the next uh, few sessions. Uh, makikita nyo din that I have um, highlights and I have uh, annotations. So, uh, we will use those as uh, your lecture notes. Um, this uh, particular uh, version is published 2020 so it's a pandemic edition database system concepts um i will go through the course syllabus for our cs165 so um this course is uh, composed of um uh, two components, uh, the lecture and then the lab component. So, in total, meron siyang four units. The three units will be uh, the lecture part and then the remaining one unit is for the lab. So, the prerequisite for this course is that um, you already finished um, the two series, important series in CS. So, natapos nyo na dapat yung discrete math uh, for computer science. So, dun yung uh, 30 and 31. And then, the data structures and algorithms. So, that is your CS32 and CS33. Uh, so, you can reach me through uh, my email address. So, ito yung jbclemente at upid.edu.ph uh, and then if tapos na yung pandemic, you can also go to uh, the office. It's in room uh, 317 or room 319. So, uh, I have uh, listed here my consultation hours. So, meron tayong um, TTH na 1 to, to 3 p.m. So, uh, for this course, we will also have a course website, especially for those of you na laging online, you can um, reach uh, us through uh, our learning management system, which I will provide uh, later on um, as, a, a, as a link to you guys. So, ano ba yung mga course requirements natin? Ang course requirements ay um, tatlo lang, basically. <laughs> Kung pasado ka. So, yung pang-apat dito is optional. So, for your lecture grade, uh, which is um, pwede mong isipin na 3 over 4 nung, nung grade nyo, 50% uh, of, of that grade will come from your score uh, from the first long exam. And yung second half nung lecture grade nyo will be coming from the second long exam score uh, na, na ibibigay nyo sa akin on week 14. And then for your lab grade, uh, it is uh, composed of um, your scores from 12 lab exercises. So ito na lang yung remaining one unit. So, uh, meron tayong option 4. The final exam uh, is only for those who will fail to obtain a passing grade from the first three requirements. So, parang you can th think of it as a removal exam. Okay, so para sa course outline of uh, CS165, um, I uh, used the uh, proposed proposed uh, topics from Silver Shots. So, basically two parts yung uh, ating uh, lecture topics. The first one ay yung topics from week 1 to 6 and then meron tayong from week uh, 
8 to 13 naman for the second part. So, um, yung week 1 natin will involve yung overview ng lahat ng topics na pagdadaan natin. And for the second week naman, uh, we will focus on uh, relational data models. Uh, ito yung underlying uh, principle behind the language called uh, SQL. So, we will have two consecutive weeks to discuss about SQL. So, ito yung week 3 and within week 4. And then, uh, for week 5 naman, um, we will be discussing about how to model the data. So, ang output dito is an entity relationship diagram. So, uh, yung week 5 and week 6 ay necessary both for designing a database. Uh, in particular, uh, relational databases. So, yung mga database na parang mukhang tables. So, ito yung ating first part. And then, after week 6, meron tayong first long exam. Wala na tayong lab exercise for that. After uh, first long exam, meron tayong second part. And then, yung second part natin ay nagdagdag tayo ng some few additional topics. For example, like um, big data analytics. So, before in the 6th edition, walang big data analytics. Ang primary motivation ng second part is for you to be able to apply yung mga nalalaman nyo uh, na basic concepts from uh, from the first part to the industry. So, meron na tayo dito ang application development, meron din tayong um, big data analytics which uh, I will share with you on the ninth week. Tapos, uh, we will be um, discussing some storage management. Uh, you, you will learn na may mga different um, hierarch memory hierarchies pala kung saan yung store yung data. And then, may mga different techniques involved uh, for, uh, for you to be able to um, uh, optimize yung mga queries. Uh, we will discuss about transaction management. Tapos, uh, da database architectures naman on week 13. After that, uh, we will have our second long exam. So, that will be on our um, week 14. Okay, so again, our main reference is the 7th uh, edition uh, from uh, Silver Shots et al. So, this is the database um, system concepts. Pero, you're not uh, uh, limited naman to, to uh, read this, but you have other references as well. Nabikli ko dito sa uh, list natin. Okay, so, meron tayong some few additional notes about this, uh, this course. Um, medyo special, uh, special case yung SEM natin uh, ngayon. So, what we will do is uh, to have two options. Meron tayong online setup and then we have an offline setup. So, for those of you na hindi laging connected sa internet, you will you can use yung uh, downloadable course pack natin. Nandun na yung mga videos, nandun na yung mga um, lecture notes, nandun na yung um, copy ng mga uh, materials na uh, pwede nyong i-download and then you can um, browse through it. Okay? And then, for the online setup, yung mga laging connected naman sa internet, we have a learning management system. Okay? So, uh, magpo-provide ako ng mga video lectures and um, uh, that will be on a weekly basis. Meron tayong video lecture and then meron din tayong uh, particular lab exercise on a weekly basis. So, this is uh, self-paced. So, um, you can watch the video anytime, anywhere. So, kung parang medyo matagal yung video, you can actually fast forward. Tapos kapag masyadong mabilis, pwede mo namang i-slow down. Pero, uh, even though it is self-paced, um, meron tayong predefined deadlines. So, required kayo na mag-submit ng mga lab exercises weekly uh, para mag-grade ko, mag ko. And uh, for the long exams naman, we have deadlines set on the week 7 and then week 14. So, since deadline ito, if you finish the, yung uh, lecture natin week 1 to week 6 ng mas mabilis, pwede mo nang isubmit yung first long exam solutions mo. And then, kung mas mabilis din, uh, you can go to the second part. However, uh, the problem with this uh, setup naman is the alignment ng parang online discussions. If you will um, participate in uh, discussions using our learning management system. Okay, so uh, isa pa sa assumption ko is that you have an access to a machine uh, na ba pwede yung uh, magamit to, to solve your um, lab exercises. 
So, um, also the medium of instruction will be Taglish uh, for me to to explain uh, clearly yung mga concepts kapag medyo mahirap na. Okay, so yun lang yung mga notes ko for the for the course and for the setup. So, ideally, yung ginagawa ko pagka first day of class, uh, it's a meet and greet and um, uh, inaask ko yung mga expectations ng mga students about the course and uh, nagpapakilala kami and so on. But, uh, since um, online na tong course natin, I will um, have uh, a meet and greet discussion thread. So, pwede nyong iwan dun yung mga introduction nyo sa sarili nyo. Hello, ako po si ganyan. Etcetera. And then, ito po yung expectation ko sa course. Uh, ito yung mga, some few questions, eh, clarifications, kung meron kayong mga agam-agam. And then, um, kung hindi naman kayo laging online, you can send an email to jbclemente at cp.edu.ph. So, yun lang. I hope na-introduce ko yung course in a very brief manner. Um, if there will be changes in the setup, I will be sending announcements uh, through Canva and through uh, your email addresses. And then, um, that's the first part of week one. Yung second part of week one will be technical discussion on the overview of the different topics to we'll go through the whole sem. So, I, I think uh, yun na yun. You, uh, see you next video.